13 sacks. Count them. 13 sacks I got in this game. And I'm going to give you guys a chance to do it yourself with a free tournament style defensive ebook in this video. Check it out. What's going on, everybody? I'm JP Storm at GamingAuthority.com. And yes, in this video, we are giving away free tournament style defensive ebooks for 200 likes. If we get 200 likes, I'm giving out 10 free copies. Plus, after this, I have a free play for you. So now it's fourth and six, and he's no huddling. Now I audible out of the blitz for some strange reason. I go into a, a cover two type defense, fourth and six. I figured I'd try to, I don't know, mix it up a little bit, but he eats this defense up, and he gets a huge gain to Tyreek Hill, and I guess we got to stay in the blitz. So forget about coverage. Look at his blitz. Two people free because he wasn't blocking our halfback or anybody else. So I'm going to eat this shit up all game. So fourth and 28, and I send the heat, but he just up chucks and prays, and I didn't get the animation of knocking it down. I tried, I tried swatting the ball down because I knew he had a step on me, but whatever, man, this guy's, if he has to go on, go for it on 4th and 28 or whatever it was, I don't think it's going to be too hard. So we send the 5-2 heat at him, we sit him down, and he's no huddling again, 2nd and 18, I mean, we are just destroying this dude, I don't even know why he's this close to scoring. So second 18, and we're applying the heat again, and he got no answers, man. He's not blocking this at all. All these blitzes are coming from our tournament ebook. No huddle. Now it's third and 27. I mean, what is he thinking? He doesn't have a, a halfback into block, so we're sending the heat, and he has to up chuck and pray fast, but he gets the ball to Tyreek Hill. He completes it. It's fourth and six. So I go, uh, I don't think I blitz here. I get out of the blitz. I go to a coverage play. Well, just a sort of blitz. But we get the block shed, baby. My ball. So it's third and seven. Uh, we tried to run the ball in, the, in our strong, close scheme. But he played decent defense in the beginning here. So we tried to throw it up. And look, it hits Cooper right in the helmet. Right in the helmet. But coming up, you're going to see the crazy, crazy, stupid way that this dude tried to play defense on me. And in the beginning, it kind of worked. But it, you could so easily adjust to it that, I don't know, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. And we're going to be giving away a play. Like usual, we're going to be giving you guys a play at the end of this gameplay. So stay tuned. Like this video if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so you guys don't miss anything we're doing for this mad, next mad, and all other maddens to come. I mean, you see the heat that we got. Again, third and long again. But watch this screw up here. I don't know why. Look at the left cornerback. He was, that inside cornerback was manned up on this guy. I don't know why he just switched off and it's like he double covered the other wide receiver. This should have never happened. Look at that inside cornerback manned up on Conley. Look at him. He goes and covers the outside wide receiver. That was not his assignment. That's what blew this play up and made Conley so wide open. I mean, what's he doing? Now, here we go. Look at this dude's defense. He's in, like, punt block and brings down the returner. And at first, I'm not going to lie, threw me off guard. But... You know, I just threw quick because uh, I was kind of like shocked. He was an eight up safe man or something like that. Um, it threw me off at first because I, I was A, I was shocked that any, why would anybody even run this type of defense? And now I know people are coming, so I just have to make the right reads. And, you know, look at this. It is fast. <laughs> I mean, I would never play that type of defense. He's an eight up safe man. I mean, it forced me to be in a fourth and six here, but I can't. I can't punt. Yeah, if he's going to be in that, there's no way I could just sit back and let this happen. So I'm trying to go into gun tray Y flex, and I have a feeling he's still going to be in this defense or, or, or punt return, whatever he's doing, punt block. And so I, at fourth and six, I can't let this dude take me out playing defense like this. I mean, this is ridiculous. And we beat him right then and there, baby. Gallup for the touchdown. He ain't catching me. Come on now. 
Stop playing like a child. So again, if we get 200 likes on this video, I'm going to be giving away 10 free tournament style defensive ebooks that has this block shed blitz in it. It has that blitz, about 100 other blitzes. This ebook has over 130 defensive plays in it and counting. We're still going to be adding to it. So we're, we're keeping this dude on the run. He's got, he can't, can't do anything against my defense. And I don't have to be running no 8-up safe man punt block return bullshit. Let's see what he's got. It's 3rd and 32. 3rd and 32. I had this guy more in 3rd and longs than anybody. Now I'm just in a pass defense that I've sent it for and I still got to him. This is tournament style defensive ebook stuff. So 4th and 36. Of course he's going for it. Of course he is. This close to his own end zone. I mean, why not, right? So he up chucks and prays, and we are all over that shit, baby. Give me that. So here we go. He's right back at it, and I am a little embarrassed about what's about to happen next. <laughs> he picks me off. I didn't even make any reads. I just figured that anybody would be open so i just threw to him and it got picked off so we got him to third and seven another big third down and he's on the run look at how he threw that off his back foot and connects how lucky did this dude just get so he's gonna no huddle he's gonna think he got something going on with this five wide stuff here but we'll see we'll see what he's got going on we're sending the heat, baby. Look at that cross three fire from dollar three to six. That setup is insane. It's also in that ebook. So second and ten. Look at the our defense, man. Look at our setups. We got this dude on the run every time he goes back to pass. And that time we only sent four. So no huddles again, of course. Third and twenty. Another third and forever. Let's see if he What's he going to do here? Back to pass. Block shed. Sit down. Give me that, baby. We forced him to throw fast, which forces us to catch it for a pick six, baby. Sit the fuck down. So here we go. He goes back to pass. Now he sees his tight end on a crossing route, and he... Nice little gain there. So I cross men both tight ends, but stupidly, I couldn't get over in time. I left that halfback wide open, and he reads it for a big gain that was my fault I should have been covering him because uh, the tight ends were cross manned so he's no huddling it's first and ten there's a minute 23 seconds left to go before the half he's trying to get something going with this uh, two tight end set so we've got hard flats on the field the tight ends are cross manned and again the halfback but he doesn't see that and he goes deep to the center of the field that was my guy I was covering and I totally screwed up I thought he was gonna throw to the halfback which he didn't good read by him I gotta give it to him so this pud goes for two and the toss I thought it was gonna run up the middle the toss beat that play and it'll beat that play every single time but if he ran if we ran up the middle I would have stopped him but he didn't and now he's up 15 to 14 so again this pud comes out in some type of punt block and I see the halfback wide open, and I throw it to him. He wasn't going to catch up to him here. So I get a huge gain with Elliott up the gut. And I'm going to score before half, definitely. So it's third and ten. I'm hitting him with the read option. And look at this blocking up the gut. Come on, baby. I got the first down. Get to the seven-yard line. Ten seconds left to go. I was going to do the triple option, but I see him roaming in that area. So I audible to the halfback dive with my second halfback. And if that was Elliott, I would have hit the end zone but he wasn't fast enough so had to call a timeout and i'm just gonna get my points here so i'll take my points close out the half and i get the ball back that's why i wanted to get my points here so it's third and eight and this dope is still in punt return block so i'm gonna touch pass to cooper and he beats his guy nice catch and he tackles me as soon as i caught it so i'm in the same formation this time doing the halfback stretch and we get a huge gain huge gain for the first down and here we go I'm doing a little fake screen wheel and what happens here up Chuck and picked off terrible 
But it really don't matter when you got plays like this. Come on, man. So I run the same play at him. He throws fast to the tight end on a slant route. And look at this. This tight end is wheeling and dealing, faking people out. I mean, he gets all the way to the 30-yard line almost. But that's all right. We're going to do what we do best, send the heat, make him throw fast, and pick that shit off, baby. Mother beat me. This stupid pud's going to stay in this, and I found a great way to beat it with my fastest receiver. Oh, see you later. See you later. This penis is staying in this play, so what do I do? Make it look look the same, but this time hand it off to the halfback the other direction. Oh, see you later. See you fucking later. Now this dude's panties are in a bunch. He doesn't know what's happening here. So what am I going to do? I'll just, let me just run it in. Let me just score on you, pal. Oh, fucking baby. Here we go. Three and a half minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. He goes back to pass. He evades the block shed blitz, and he throws to the halfback. Nice read. I got to give it to him. This was another nice read by him. He almost scores right there. So this guy makes it a game of running up the gut and gets a hole for the score. Now it's 24 to 22 my lead and I just found a perfect way to beat this dude. Run with my fastest wide receiver. So it's 31 to 22. Uh, he goes back to pass. He playmakers the guy to the center of the field and that was a, definitely a nice read. I didn't send a blitz or anything which that stops now. Look at this blitz. Look at that blitz. That's one of my favorite blitzes in the tournament ebook. He's got no chance now, man. Two minutes left. Now I just kill the clock and run this clock out. And that's the game. Stay tuned for the free play we're giving you. Okay, we are going over a new big nickel over G, and we'll go over new in just a second. We're going over the mic SS3, but we're going to press R2 to flip the play. And before we pick it, press R1, because we are going to take out these linebackers, which I already did, and I put two safeties here. So now, all we have is four defense alignment, and the rest are defensive backs, just like what we've been doing to the nickel normal formation and watch how devastating this play is so you put two safeties in both of these linebacker positions mike ss3 I'll show it to you against a blocked running back now i would run this away like how we're running now the running backs to the right just assume he's gonna be blocking so run this to the left that's why i flipped the play now what you want to do is Baseline, Y or triangle right in the D-pad. Press the defense, Y or triangle down on the D-pad. Shift the defensive line to the left, which is left on the D-pad twice, and then slant them to the left. Left on the D-pad, left on the right stick. Now, I want you to try to hover here first, and then try hovering over the center. I'll show you here. Get in here, hold L2 through the snap, and then cover the middle of the field. So we got left edge pressure that time. So baseline, press the defense, shift the defensive line to the left, slant them to the left, and then hover here. Hold L2 while you're hovering, and then go out into coverage. So hold L2, hold L2, go out into coverage. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about, man. That right there is intense heat, not by a linebacker, by a faster safety. Now I'll hover in the other position. So base align, press the defense, shift the defense line to the left, and slant them to the left. Now you could hover here, or over the center, whatever. Hold L2, hold L2, and then go out into coverage. So we're still getting pressure. Base line, press the defense, shift the D-line to the left, and slant them to the left. And we're going to send one less person, too, so keep watching. Wow, they blocked it. Shocking. Base 
defense line, press the defense, shift the on left, slant them to the left. I'm gonna hover here again. Pull Del 2 through the snap, and then go out into coverage. Look at that. So you know what? Forget about hovering over the center. Just hover it uh, where I just was hovering. Right between the D tackle and the D end, right here. Just hover right here all day. Hover here, hover here, hover here. Go out to coverage. Look at that heat. Now, some to send one less person do the same exact setups. Just put the right of screen at the end on a flat, especially if you think they're going to be passing quick to the halfback. Or if you're running this on the goal line or something, you know, if you put him on the QB spy, he covers the short middle of the field pretty good, too. Still hover here and then go out into coverage after about two seconds. Sorry for that sound. We almost got DT, quick DT pressure. Look at that. Both of those guys came in. Now, a, a trick to hovering, especially when you're sending one less person, right? You're sending five people here. When you hover here, and watch, stay focused on that linebacker who is a safety, because you wanna hover and then go to the right. So hover here for like a second, and then go to the right, still holding L2. So just watch my guy. Hover, 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 go over to the right a little bit. For some reason, that helps get in one of those guys to the uh, quarterback's baseline, press the defense, shift the D-line to the left, slant them to the left, take that right screen, the end off his blitz. And you can only do this when you're sending one less person because you don't have to do it the other times. See, that time I accidentally got blocked and tackled. Hover here, hover, hover, go to the right. Look at that. Two people free against a block run back, sending five. K.O.B. at its finest, baby.